What's up, Dirty Cones? Alright, yeah. Uh, Jocko Willink. The Jocko Podcast. It's like why I'm not even doing any videos lately. Um, because Jocko is so awesome. I think that you should all just listen to him. Don't even worry about bypass me. Go straight to Jocko. Uh, and be happy with your life. Because the man is intense. Uh, beautiful human being. Amazing words. Uh, check him out. You'll, you'll dig him. Jocko Willink. <laughs> he's, oh man, he's got that serious voice. It's, it's fucking badass. Like, you're like, you automatically almost like come up, you're like, oh shit, dude, this guy is for real. Um, <clears throat> so check him out. So, um, I had a three parter. I think it was pretty good. I was happy with, you know, what I covered. And I think the chip was uh, malfunctioned again. And so I lost the first part. I still got the second part and the third part, but I don't, excuse me, I'm not exactly sure how the, I think without the first part, you're like, oh, what? Well, it's a big conversation. What the hell is he talking about? Um, it's doable. So maybe I'll redo the first part, but you know me, I like everything on a one take, so, uh, cause, you know, live life, no, uh, no second quarters, you only got one life, so you just gotta go for it, and, um, so I'll, I'll figure that one out, the, uh, maybe I can do that right now, nah, I won't punish you like that, I like you guys, <laughs> I, you know what, I'll, I'll give some more ringing endorsements of Jocko. He he takes my book club, I mean, he's been doing it longer or whatever, but he does the book club, but he does like the entire book. He doesn't just, you know, say a paragraph and, and then just, so I, I like that. He takes like a full two hours almost to go over Henry V and, uh, well, he goes about an hour for Henry V and then he goes into his next thing, but he like line by line dissects it and shares it and I would love to do that. I don't, I don't know if, the attention span is there, but that would be, you know, here's my favorite book, this is what I want to talk about, and, and share at that level of what this book, you know, do, 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 um, takes very good notes, he's, he's very well, uh, read, well spoken, um, I think you like him, I like him, um, he would, maybe I'll ask Quinn, maybe we do like a shared podcast and bring him on uh, the show sometime. That'd be awesome. Cause I'd be like, that, that guy I want to talk to. Let's talk about him. And um, he doesn't say um. <laughs> There's one more reason to like him. He doesn't say um. Mm. All right, so let's talk about things that are bothering me this week. All right. First off, the gorilla. Uh I don't know. I think maybe they should shrink the gorilla like four darts at the same time, but I understand the child, danger. <sighs> you know, my kid, when we would go to, into a shopping store, and he, I swear to God, like we walk in, and I turn to look, and I look back, gone. I mean, gone. And <laughs> I'm like, what? But I could hear him because he would laugh because he, he knew he wasn't supposed to be hiding from me so that's how I would track him was I would listen and you'd hear us <laughs> and I'd find him I don't know if an enclosure like that where a four year old kid can just jump over the fence and jump in with a monkey don't know if that's the best uh, enclosure maybe it keeps the gorillas out but doesn't keep the kids out <clears throat> But I don't think anybody's to blame. And a uh, guy that played uh, level 12 mage wizard on uh, The Office, Rain, Rain Wilson, I think he made a comment, you know, like, every day people are killed by guns and we don't care as much as we care for this gorilla. And I, I think that we are missing the point as usual, that the point is, hey, life is valuable, a gorilla is valuable, a human is valuable, but a three-year-old kid, four-year-old kid, 
it's a no-brainer. And, and that's a rough, tough decision. I mean, that's not anything I would uh, want to make a decision on my own. So, you know, the, fix the wall, make it better, make it stronger. Don't let your kid jump over fences. I mean, it's kind of just a bad day. Perfect storm kind of style. <clears throat> that it just happens. It's life. You can't judge because I'm telling you, every parent has probably done something wrong. Every person has done something wrong. Nobody is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Move on to the next subject. You know, uh, fix the fence. That's it. Nobody has to be at fault. It's just a bad day and those happen so um <laughs> I have to give credit to uh, a friend of mine we'll call him Heathcliff his uh, friend who we'll call Heathcliff's friend made a comment he said the only reason to vote for Donald Trump is because we are a nation of clowns and we need the lead clown to drive the clown car <laughs> When he said that, I'm like, oh my god, dude, that is perfect. Because I, uh, um, I'm also starting a new hashtag. Hashtag don't vote for anybody. And I think if we all don't vote and just leave it blank, they, uh, they'll send us somebody better. Just no votes at all. That or it's time to change the rule that you can be born outside of America and be the United States president because basically I think that we have said we can't find anybody in our own country <laughs> to run our country so maybe there's somebody else out there and I know you guys are like what? what what's it North Korea came out today and said that they believe Donald Trump would be a great president all right there's there's your second strike because your first strike was Putin likes Donald Trump narcissistic evil cocksuckers uh, supporting somebody should tell you hmm and I, know I don't like to give you guys my opinion a lot but America is good it could be a whole lot better and it needs to be a whole lot better and we need to take it back you gotta take the power back in a peaceful way and do the right thing and you know good oh. But who wants to be in politics? Serge Tankian has got a great quote. You know, he's all interested in politics, but I don't want to be a politician. You know, I don't want... So, it might be uh, time to drop the American-born thing, and not for Ted Cruz, uh, for Arnold Schwarzenegger. His <laughs> Schwarzenegger in 16, that's what I'm pushing. That or vote for nobody, because they all suck. That's just my opinion. It doesn't matter. As long as you vote. It's not how you vote. It's as long as you vote. Or or don't vote. <laughs> Just put blank. Nobody. Uh, send them back. Refund. Retire. Bring us somebody new. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I saw an, art an article today. It said uh, the GOP... Like 1854 to 2016, because <laughs> they're calling this the end of the grand old party, and uh, I think it might be. They, uh, I don't know what they're doing lately. They used to. I remember when I was younger, it seemed like everybody was fighting to help you, and now it's everybody's fighting to not help you. Um. Yeah. So. Nine minutes and 17 seconds. I guess I'll I'll leave this as a little bit long one, um, but it's in a Christmas Eve, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve and a better Christmas tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Um, I'm going swimming <laughs> like I go every day uh, with some good dirty cones. Good dirty cones are hard to find, so I would like to say thank you to the dirty cones that I swim with on an almost daily basis because uh, give me something to do and you make me happy so thank you very much for swimming with me and if there are more of you in the lower Texas 
portion. If you want to come swimming, come swim. Let's go swimming. And uh, if you don't know how to swim, but you want to learn how to swim, let me know, because I also teach people how to swim. Why not? Why should your dream of being something not happen because you can't swim? That's a minor technicality. You just got to fix it. No big deal. Because, um, I mean, we were born swimmers. If you look at tadpoles and little baby embryos, they all look the same. So, we're born swimmers, we're meant to swim, that's why the planet is 75% water, or maybe a little bit less with evaporation now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. So, anyway, right, so thanks for listening. Hope everything's good. I will figure out how to fix my uh, three-part series on Memorial Day that I thought was pretty good. <clears throat> Listen to Jocko Woo. And uh, listen to your heart. <laughs> Train hard. Have a good one. Bye. Here we are.